Step 5. Version Management with Markup In our scenario, the clients want a design change to the ground floor in the right wing near the main entrance hall. They don't know what exactly the best solution would be, so they ask the design team to create a few variations. The team will come up with two variations. Mary Jones, along with the client, will choose the best solution and then ask Joe Smith to finalize the chosen design. In this step, we will show how we can use the markup tool to compare several design proposals to each other. Switch to Mary Jones's instance of ARCHICAD. Activate the Version Management Preset view located in the Chapter 7 folder. Click the Add Entry button in the Markup Entries panel of the Markup Tools dialog. And in the upcoming dialog, enter Request for Design Variations for Name and select the Remarks in the Style drop-down list. Then click OK to create the entry. Switch to the Marquee tool and draw a rectangular selection, clicking near the points of labels 1.1 and 1.2, but don't include the labels. Then use the Edit Select All in Marquee menu command to select all elements partially or fully within the marquee area. Right-click and select the Reserve Selected Elements command from the context menu. Select the newly created entry in the Markup Entries panel of the Markup Tools palette and click on the Turn into Correction button in the Markup Tools panel of the palette. Then press the Escape key to deselect all elements. The selected elements have been colored blue according to the chosen style. Click the Add Comment button in the Tag and Discussion panel of the Markup palette and enter the following text. Create two design alternatives for selected area. No window in office. Remove it or merge with adjoining office. Then click OK to send it. Select Joe Smith in the Assigned To drop-down list of the Teamwork panel of the Markup palette. In the upcoming New Message dialog, accept the automatic message and click the Send button to send it as is to Joe Smith. Switch to Joe Smith's instance of ARCHICAD. Double-click Mary's message on the Messages panel of Joe's Teamwork palette. Click the Show button in the appearing dialog. Then click the Receive and Show button in the next dialog. ARCHICAD receives the changes, including the newly created markup entry, and selects the elements of the corresponding markup entry. Press the Escape key to deselect elements and activate the next Create Versions preset view in the Chapter 7 folder. In the Markup palette, select the entry assigned to Joe Smith and click the Show Discussion button in the Tag and Discussion panel to read the message from Mary. Close the Markup Discussion window. Click the Add Entry button. Enter Design Version A for name and set Style to In Progress. Choose the Create Response to Radio button at the bottom. If you check mark the Create Response to Radio button, ARCHICAD threads the new entry with the currently selected one 
and creates a hierarchical order below it. Click OK to create the new entry. Change the Sort By mode from View to Thread, selecting it from the drop-down list at the top of the Markup Entries panel. Notice the new entry has been moved below Mary Jones's entry. Select Request for Design Variations in the list of entries, and repeat the previous step to create a Design B version entry as well as a response to it. We would now need to copy the marked area twice and add the copied area to the A and B entries as correction element. After that, we would modify these variations in place and change the design. In order not to waste time with these modifications, we prepared them earlier, so now we just need to merge them with the project file. Hide the Request for Design Variations entry by clicking the eye icon in front of its name. To merge the variation to the project, we will use the Merge function and ARCHICAD module files. Activate the File, File Special, Merge menu command, and select the module file file type. Choose the design version A.mod file, and then click the Open button. Select the original location and zoom to the Pasted Elements radio buttons in the Paste Options dialog, and click Paste. Then, click outside of the marquee to accept the placement. Press the Undo and then the Redo button to select the placed elements. Choose the Design Version A markup entry and press the Turn into Corrections button on the Markup Tools panel to add the selected elements to the entry and press the Escape key to deselect elements. Hide this entry as well by clicking the eye icon next to it in the entry list. Repeat the previous steps. Merge design version b.mod file now. Press the Undo and then the Redo button to select the placed elements, and add these elements to the Design Version B entry as Corrections elements. You may check the original and the two new versions by hiding and unhiding their elements one by one to see the differences between them. If the markup entries are not needed, for example when printing, you can hide them in one step using the Model View options. To do this, use the Document, Set Model View, Model View Options menu command, and in the Appearing Model View Options dialog, Uncheck the Show Markup Items checkbox in the bottom left corner of the Options for Construction Elements panel. The effect of unchecking this box is the same as hiding all markup entries in the Markup palette one by one. Click Cancel to leave the dialog. Assign both A and B versions to Mary Jones. In each case, Select the entry and select Mary Jones from the Assigned To drop-down list of the Teamwork panel.